This free energy transformer experiment, this is called the Mr. Priva experiment. And I've tried a number of different coils with it in a number of different configurations. Um, basically hoping to wrap this one up pretty quick, draw a few conclusions, see what I can learn, and then perhaps come back to it later when, I, when I've had more success with um, something with greater free energy margins. Um, so basically what I've determined is, and I'm not even entirely sure if this is accurate or not, but because you've got two oscillating sine waves that are completely out of phase, one of them is showing high when the other one is low. And that is causing an oscillation between the two. Um, it's changing the, the plus and negative voltage references. So there's some voltage not just going in and out of the entire circuit, but to and fro between the two coils. Um, and this has caused a few issues trying to measure. Um, because as you can see I'm using incandescent globes, but I'm also measuring the RMS volts across the scope. And my measurements have come in at anywhere between 92% efficiency and 113% efficiency. But because a light globe isn't a linear load, um, it draws a non-linear current depending on the voltage that's going through it because the resistance wire changes as it heats up. It's difficult to tell exactly what the efficiency is. Um, but even at 113%, it's so low that it doesn't really matter. What does matter is seeing what you can learn from it and bring to the next experiment. And for the time being, that would be basically creating power via differential voltages. So I'm playing with the transformer cores of the uh, of the next few transformers I've built, which are considerably better than the older ones, such as that, a lot less losses. But what I'm looking to do now is create greater differentials. Uh, at exactly the same time and this seems to be yielding advantages um, I've already measured really good results um, but yeah I'm not jumping up and down yet um, I probably was a few weeks ago but hopefully I'll be jumping higher next week so come back stay with the journey this is only video 36 I gave myself 365 videos to get something that was really impressive. Now, something I can really dine out on. But for the time being, I'm dining in and pulling some late nights, and we'll see just what that yields. So, I hope yours is going well too. See you next time. This effect seems to be or rather it seems to have very little to do with Lenz's law. That is ultimately one of the things I thought I'd be looking for in a transformer. A transformer with nothing to do with Lenz's law. And I suspect this does qualify. Um, the limitation however is found in a completely different place. It's due entirely to the inductance and the reluctance of the core. Um, you simply just can't push much power through it. Um, when you when it's in the uh, the right frequency to resonate and to have these opposing resonant oscillations, which only which doesn't happen right throughout the frequency range, um, the peak for this transformer seems to be about three four hundred hertz. Um, it does operate outside that frequency, but the higher the frequency gets the less current you can push through it. And once you get much lower than that frequency, um, the current and the voltage shift back into phase. Or rather, the two coils shift back into phase. Um, so, there is definitely an effect here. I am convinced of that. This is important. 
um, but it, it also has observable limitations um, so I'm not to be confused by that um, but overall I'm satisfied that there is something here, something to learn from, and I will come back to it later to see what can be applied to it. Uh, but for the time being, I'm happy to pursue my next transformer, which will be iron. Um, I've already got the circuitry made, so it should be a fairly easy transition, and I've already seen efficiencies far beyond what should be expected from an iron transformer, um, i.e. about 90% from a poorly built one. So I'm fully expecting somewhere between 1% and 200% from the next endeavour. I'll try and slide that into the title so we don't have to watch too many um, videos without drastic conclusions but that's the plan so yeah, come back and join me for it thank you just a quick look at the next transformer these two series meters are showing nothing now that's because they're DC meters and it's AC but on the previous transformers we were seeing some strange unsteady AC currents so because the AC currents weren't steady the meters were showing something and uh, there was more going backs and forwards um, but yeah the overall into the system currently is about 250 milliamps um, and the voltage input explains the brightness of both globes so this isn't showing over unity but what it is showing is that almost triangle wave and that triangle wave is apparently a signature of the equal balance between these two bucking coils um, the average turns out to look like a triangle so this bodes well for the next few experiments um, and it's all looking really rather good so um, yeah tune in tomorrow because I'm fairly optimistic that this will do what it's supposed to do thank you very much I just also wanted to point out as with the old core the flyback one I was playing with uh, the third the drive winding of this transform is not is not being used um, we're running a ser we're running a, an AC signal through the whole circuit, and these two coils are in parallel. Um, we've got positive, and they're going into parallel. And on the on the other side, they're going through these two globes. And then it's only when we reach the third one that it becomes series again. So we've got a series circuit which turns into a parallel circuit through those two globes, then through the two coils and back out to series again. So under normal conditions, um, this should always be the brightest globe. However, it's not. Um, this is the brightest globe and this one is also on ever so slightly as well. So we're having a strange feedback effect here. Um, and yeah we've got more power oscillating in the circuit than we're, ac than we're actually feeding it um, but as before though um, then you calculate the transformer losses and it does bring the efficiency below 100% but it has all the hallmarks for a circuit that will work once we start pulsing it um, through this primary uh, the idea is of course to throw Lens Law out by pulsing uh, DC square waves through the primary and then only switching the, um, the the output coils on during the relaxation period of the core so it's a, a very sharp pulse from the primary very quick sharp pulse um, so we don't waste any energy and then as the core slowly relaxes then we sharply turn those two on and that is apparently what I've been told does the trick not enough people replicating this in my view um, but they have been kind enough to give me some tips and write several hundred pages of documentation which I have all read along with of course about 10 hours of video so I'm pretty confident that I'll get it whether it's tomorrow or not remains unclear because um, it might well be tonight so come back and find out